Hi guys, welcome back to School of Walks YouTube channel and guess what? I'm retiring. <laughs> anyway, I'm not really retiring. We've got some exciting news. We are introducing Flavour Fridays. Every Friday, we've got two of our chef tutors, Emma and Ruby, who are far more exciting, bubbly, glamorous, and better cooks than I'll ever be. And they'll be cooking for you guys, showing you some awesome Asian cooking every Friday. Hi guys, my name is Ruby. I'm the assistant manager from the School of Work in Covent Garden. Today, I'm gonna to teach you how to make chana dal. Okay guys, so the first thing that we're going to do is start preparing the base of our chana dal. So I've already got some uh, lentils that have been washed really well and they're just drying out. Uh, so we're gonna start by preparing the, uh, the onions, the garlic and the ginger. Now these ingredients are gonna help to just create that real warmth and the creaminess to our, our dal. So I'm just gonna start by removing the skin of my onion. <coughs> I've kept that core in place there so that it keeps all of those layers together and I'm gonna finely slice them. And this will be the first thing that we cook. So the most important thing is that we've really cooked down our onion so that it can become uh, soft. We don't want to uh, caramelize it. We're just um, breaking it up so it can start the base of our curry. So we're gonna prepare our garlic now. Just remove the top of your garlic. Give it a little tap and throw it all over the table. All right, we're going to finally chop our garlic now. This dish, it doesn't matter too much about how perfect your cutting is. It's gonna break down in the curry anyway and all those flavors will come out. And now with our ginger, I'm gonna peel it with a teaspoon. It's a nice little easy trick. Now we're gonna uh, slice up our ginger. If you just chop it in half, always have the larger surface on the board, it makes it a little bit easier to cut. Let's start by making some slices. Gather it together. When you haven't got anything else to hold on to, it's quite nice to just pop your hand on top of the knife and just keep working it over, gathering it up until you can get it to that really nice fine consistency. So we're gonna start by cooking off our onions. Got a nice deep cast iron pot here. I'm gonna just coat the bottom of it in some of our vegetable oil. You don't need too much that it's going to fry them. Uh, we just wanna soften them really nicely. We'll put it onto a, a medium to high heat. Okay, I'm gonna get them all in straight away. So we're just getting that, real, that heat through there now. I'm not crying, you're crying. Sometimes nice to just cook onions, just to, you know, have a little emotional release. Always feel better after it. So here at the school, we uh, do a lot of team building events. Um, we offer a Indian cuisine class that I really love to teach. Uh, it's all about just that combination of spices. Uh, it might be intimidating to cook a whole curry at home, um, but it's actually, once you've got the idea about the spices and uh, the combination of flavors, it can be really easy to prepare at home. But this is starting to look really good. I'm going to, uh, Go in next with my ginger and my garlic. We still want to cook these off for a little bit first. So I'll get those in there. Okay, it's starting to smell good. So just while that's just cooking off for a couple more minutes, I want to talk to you about some of the spices that we're going to be using in this curry. So I've got a selection of different dry spices here. I'm not going to be using all of them in this particular dish, but I've got some of my, uh, my favorites here. So I have some ground turmeric. You can use a fresh turmeric. Uh, turmeric has got a wonderful natural uh, colorant in it, so it's gonna help uh, blend with our lentils and make that really rich creamy yellow color. I've also got some ground cumin and some ground coriander. And over here is possibly one of my favorite spices. It's black cardamom pod. It's so smoky and rich, and we're gonna put those in whole just so that they can flavor through our curry. This is uh, a chili. It's optional though. 
Uh, this dish isn't traditionally spicy, uh, but I just like to have that little bit of hum of spice through it so that uh, it's just got a little extra kick. So I'm just gonna make my spice mix up into a little bowl first. It's about a teaspoon of turmeric, half a teaspoon of cumin, and half a teaspoon of coriander powder. As you can see, it's really softened down now, smelling amazing. There is a little bit of color going on at the bottom of our pan, that's okay. All those flavors will come up and it's gonna give it a richer flavor. So I'm just gonna gently add in my spices and we're toasting the spices. We're, we're cooking them so that we can get the most flavor out of those spices. If we were to pop it into just water, you might not get that same richness of flavor. And as you can see, that beautiful turmeric has just turned our onions really bright. And that's exactly what we're looking for. We've got our chili here. Instead of slicing this up or chopping it finely, all I'm gonna do is make an incision down the middle of our chili. All the, uh, the spices in those seeds are going to come out and it will just give it a really gentle flavor rather than uh, a really big spice uh, that might be a little bit too much for this dish. In with the chili and our black cardamom pods. I've turned it down to quite a gentle heat now. I'm just cooking those onions out for a couple more minutes and then we're going to be adding in our lentils and our vegetable stock. So chana dal, the word chana meaning chickpea. So you can see that they are uh, an early form of that chickpea. I'm gonna go in. I haven't soaked these, so I've just given them a rinse because they're gonna cook really nicely in our stock. So this type of lentil is one of my favorite. Uh, it's going to give a really rich creaminess. If you think about chickpeas and um, hummus, those types of things, it really does give you a lovely texture and you're also going to have that beautiful rich yellow. I'm gonna go in with my vegetable stock now. So I've got a couple of cups here. You want it to cover your lentils because it's gonna be cooking for so long. We wanna make sure that there's plenty of liquid in the pot. I've also got some salt. I'm gonna give it a season now and then taste it again when it's ready and adjust the seasoning as I need to. Okay, and that's it guys. So I'm gonna put the lid on and we're going to leave it to simmer for about 40 minutes to an hour, and then we'll check it again then. Okay guys, so our dal's been cooking for about an hour and a half now. So just check the consistency of it. You don't want it to be really dry and thick. You want it to have a smoothness to it. So this is actually almost perfect. Might add just a little bit more water. It's coming together really nicely. So what you can do is just using the back of your spoon, you can break up some of those lentils. So you've got a really nice texture. Okay, so we're gonna take out our cardamom pods now. The chili has pretty much dissolved. So all that beautiful flavor is in there. Now it's time to have a taste. It should be quite salty. Mmm. That's perfect. I think it needs just a touch more salt and that is pretty much perfect. I'm gonna serve it up now. You can have this dish with rice or it's quite nice just on its own. And then we're just gonna garnish it really simply with some chili and coriander. Nice long slices always look very beautiful. Scatter them on top. And then I've just got some fresh coriander here. And there you have it guys, our chana dal. All right, let's have a taste. Mmm, perfect. Okay guys, so for more of these warm fuzzy feelings, uh, subscribe to our channel. <laughs> My chana dal gives me that warm fuzzy feeling. If you'd like some of that, Please subscribe to our channel, like our social media, and click on the link below for a recipe.